<laughs> As and then uh, we uh, are in Bororo area of uh, mm -hmm. Voi, uh, Taita Taveta, and uh, we are here to talk about um, the project that we call Integrated and Climate Smart Innovations for Agro-Pastoris Economies and Landscapes. And uh, this project is um, a partnership project between CARO uh, through CARO uh, Kiboko and the Netherlands Development Organization called SNV. And the project is funded by the European Union together with the, the government, uh, the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. And uh, for CARO, we had a budget of about 53 million uh, Kenya shillings. And it was a, a three-year project. We are actually at the tail end of the implementation phase uh, of the project. And the overall objective or goal of the project was to use uh, research innovations uh, to improve uh, livestock productivity and by do so doing improve the livelihoods of the people and build their resilience against uh, climate change. So coming back to the, uh, the research innovations that we've been using as a project to improve the livestock productivity, the main one has been the, in the area of uh, fodder. And uh, what we did is that we introduced, uh, starting from 2021, we introduced about 20 different fodder crops uh, for the arid, for the low rainfall areas and also for the high rainfall areas. And that was done in Taita Taveta, one of the counties where we are implementing the project. It was also done in Kajiado, which is the other county where the project is being implemented, and also in Narok. So the project has been learning on in the three counties and we have been implementing these activities within the lower rainfall areas and the high rainfall areas of the three counties. Twenty different um, uh, uh, varieties, but I established them in what we call demonstration plots. And demonstration plots were actually meant to be training centers for farmers. And in, in each of the demonstration plots, we had about 12, 10 to 12 different fodder varieties. And these fodder varieties combined grasses, which are normally high in energy, and also the legumes, which are normally high in protein. And the farmers were trained for, uh, for about uh, three, four months and taken through a whole production cycle of fodder crops, starting from uh, lard preparation, the sowing itself, weeding management, the harvesting stage, um, conservation of the uh, feed material, feeding the animal, uh, up to uh, uh, developing business cases around the fodder production for use by the farmers. So through these demo plots we, that we established uh, for about three seasons, starting in uh, October, November, December 2021, and we continued in uh, March, April, May 2022, and up to October, November, December season of 2022, um, in total, we established about uh, eight uh, demo demonstration plots in the three counties. And uh, through those 20, uh, uh, eight demo plots, uh, about 6,500 farmers have been trained in the three, in the three seasons. It's important to also be able to demonstrate that farmers can make money, can do business. They can actually finish uh, beef commercially using the combination of both legumes and the grasses that the project uh, has been promoting. In addition to the business cases around uh, beef finishing, we also have been working on business cases around the uh, seed production because we have a problem of uh, availability of quality uh, seed uh, in, the, in the country. And therefore, we've been working with the, with the, with the farmers also to try and bulk uh, the seed so that we can make available the quantity of seeds, uh, uh, pasture seeds available uh, uh, or required by our farming communities in the country.